guys, it's D, and welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my viewers, for the likes and the comments. I really, really appreciate it. Today's video is going to be a breakdown of the House of the Dragon trailer. Now, it is my birthday weekend. I'm super, super excited. So the old gods and the new gods decided to bless my birthday by giving me a trailer of the House of the Dragon video. So we're gonna break down everything. I did a video a couple days ago with my reaction, my live reaction uh, of watching it for the very first time. I've watched it like four more times since then just to like kind of get an idea of everything that we're seeing. I was literally, if you go back and watch that video, the link will be in the description below and I'm gonna be doing a playlist for House of the Dragon. Uh, I had my coat on, I had my mask like on my face. I was literally heading out the door and I was like, oh, there's pictures. And I wanna insert the pictures here. Like, the, the characters, like, everything. And then I was like, oh, that's cool. They, like, released some pictures and some stills. And then I'm, like, scrolling through my Instagram story, and I'm like, oh, there's a trailer. Oh, my goodness. And, like, everything stopped. I had to, like, sit down. I bust out the camera, and I wanted to watch it and show my reaction. real true reaction to what I was watching. I didn't want to, like, watch it and then film myself watching it again. I wanted to get it in real time. My sister was like, you're such a nerd. I was just like, this this is the most anticipated show for 2022, like I cannot mess this up. So what we're gonna do today is a breakdown of everything going on. We're gonna talk about what we're seeing, what I think is happening in these scenes and uh, do it by that. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I'll try and keep it within a certain time frame. The trailer is a minute and 44 seconds, so we shall see. Let's uh let's see what we let's see what so we like get. The first 10 seconds we see an older Reyna, Rhaenyra Targaryen uh standing out looking at the water. Now she could be on Driftmark or she could be on Dragonstone. We're not quite sure yet. And then at the 11 second mark we i think what we're seeing is a like a zooming in of dragons uh within the next three seconds we see uh daemon targaryen with a dragon egg in his hand um meeting the hand of the king for his brother viserys by the 22nd mark, we're seeing a dragon. <coughs> Sorry. I just can't believe what I'm seeing right now. We're seeing a dragon flying into King's Landing. Now, to me, this dragon looks like Sunfire. However, if you know the story of the dance of the dragons and everything happened before the game of thrones story you know that rhaenyra actually flew into drag or flew into king's landing on the dragon when all the other armies had left and that's how she was able to get into king's landing because they had that they had that baby well protected so to me it looks like sunfire but it could just be the coloring it could be her dragon that she's flying into King's Landing on. I just wanna say the CGI for this, between season five of Game of Thrones when Danny first got on Drogon to now, that CGI has gotten so much better. It looks so authentic and real that like, I really, really wish dragons were real because this would be amazing. Okay, by the 25-second 20 mark, you see King Viserys on the throne. 
you see Rhaenyra at the base of the Iron Throne, and you hear Corlys Valerian and uh, the Baratheon Lord uh, swearing fealty. So by the 33 second mark, we see that he has named Rhaenyra his heir, and it's because he doesn't have a boy. So you see her turn around and face all the lords of Westeros who have sworn her fealty this is gonna get really good okay by the 43 second mark we hear princess Rainey's tell rhaenyra that men would rather put the city to the torch than see a woman sit on the iron throne now she has the nickname the queen who never was and that's because king jaharis had named her father the heir because her father was the only living one who uh, would have taken the Iron Throne. However, he had Rhaenys and then died. And then, so it should have gone to her because she is the oldest child of the heir apparent. However, the Great Council of 101 AC, which I think we will see a clip of here in a few minutes, um, decided to skip over her and go to her cousin, King Viserys. Now, King Viserys' father, who was her uncle after Rhaenys' father died, was named the heir. And then he mysteriously died. So we've got two children of former heirs, former princes who would have been kings who have died. So now it's going to their children. It's basically skipped that generation. And so now she's talking to the woman who should have been queen instead of Rhaenyra's father. It should have been Rhaenys. However, it went to Rhaenyra's father. And now because Rhaenyra is named the heir, Rainey's is saying, you may not get it because men would rather set the city ablaze, <laughs> chuckle to season eight of Game of Thrones, set the city ablaze than see a woman sit on the Iron Throne. And I've got to say, both of these women look like different versions of Daenerys which I think is just masterful, masterful. However, with Princess Rhaenys, because her mother was a Baratheon, her hair, when it comes to the story and what George R. R. Martin has written, her hair shouldn't be blonde. It actually should be black, like the Baratheon black hair. So that's the only thing that's a little different, but... She is a Targaryen, so we're going to stick to the Targaryen looks. Then at the 45, 46 second mark, you see Rhaenyra at Dragonstone around the painted table that Daenerys had gotten to in season seven, where she was like, shall we begin? It's that same table that Aegon the First, Aegon the Conqueror, had carved out uh, when he was... Um, taking over Westeros. So that's a nice callback to that painted table, carved out table scene. At the 46 second, 47 second mark, we see what looks like the Great Council of 101 AC. So we may see King Jaehaerys maybe in flashback scenes. I would love to see how they portray what the old king looks like. By that point, um, Queen Alicent had passed away, and he was all alone. However, he had his children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren, and so that was the Council of 101 AC. At the 48 mark right now, I think we are in the throne room in King's Landing, and I think this is the wedding of King Viserys to Queen Alicent, or, yeah, to Alicent Hightower. Ooh, the Hightowers come from the Reach, and they are a very powerful 
ambitious family. So this is going to be masterful. At the 58-59 second mark, uh, we hear Otto Hightower uh, speaking to his daughter. She's saying that, you know, they play a dangerous game. You know, it's all, it's the Game of Thrones, really. And he says, you have the determination to win it. Because he is an ambitious man. He wants his daughter as queen. He wants his grandchildren to be on the Iron Throne. At the 59 second mark, we see a picture of uh, Rhaenys Targaryen, uh, Corlys Valerion, and their children, and who I believe is his brother to his left. When you're looking at the screen, I'm not sure, but let me tell you guys, these costumes that they are wearing, the locks that Corlys Valerian has, he's known as the Sea Snake, absolutely, absolutely amazing. They did so well with this. At the one minute and one second mark, we see, I think this is going to be the wedding of uh, Lenor Valerian to Rhaenyra. And they are related because I said, Princess Rhaenys is her cousin, her aunt. Because King Viserys, her father and Princess Rhaenys are cousins. So this is like her second cousin, her third cousin. So they are related. Uh, this looks like the wedding for them. And again, costumes on point. At the one minute five, one minute six mark, we see what happened with, I think it's going to be a funeral for someone. Um, and they look like they are on drift mark. So it could be one of the Valerians who have passed away and they're doing a ceremony. And you see an older Rhaenyra staring daggers at Alice in Hightower. I'm loving it. At the one minute and eight second mark, we see a young Daemon Targaryen being, I believe he's in the throne room and the gold cloaks or the white cloaks are, um, you know, roughing him up a little bit. So I'd like to see what that backstory is. He's known as the Rogue Prince. He, you know, he's kind of a rebellious, rebellious man. And he's one of those, like, he knows he's not going to see the throne. However, he's going to do everything he can to try and get as close as he can to it. Uh, if he can't get onto it, he's going to try and get someone that he can support and manipulate on that Iron Throne. At the 1 second 10 mark, we see what happens. I think this is going to be the wedding between Damon and Rhaenyra, who is her uncle. Guys, this story gets really weird. Um, they believed in keeping those bloodlines pure, and so... They married each other to make sure that there are more and more dragon riders within the family and keep that keep that as close as possible. It's a little uncomfortable. Uh, but the way they look at each other, it's just like, guys shouldn't be looking at each other like this, but okay, let's continue. At the 1 second 13 mark, we see, and there was a still, if I can find the picture, I'll insert it here, of... Alice Saint Hightower wielding a dagger, and it's the same dagger that Arya Stark used uh, to defeat the Night King in season eight. And we saw when they least released pictures, we saw like a still of it. We didn't know who she was going after with it. In this trailer, we see that she's actually going after her stepdaughter with that dagger. And I'm just like, I know why, and I'm not gonna say why. If you know the reason why, You'll know why she's doing it. And I don't want to spoil it for anyone who doesn't know the story. So if you know why, kudos to you. If you don't know why, something happens prior to this. And so she's going after her stepdaughter with a knife trying to injure her. At the 1 minute 20 second mark, we see... Damon Targaryen in the dragon pit, and we see a dragon, which I believe is his dragon, in the pit, just roaring and breathing fire. And I would like to know 
Maybe it's his dragon. Maybe it isn't his dragon. Maybe he's trying to take a dragon. Uh, it's going to look amazing. It's, it's going to be amazing, guys. It's going to be amazing, and I cannot wait. And then at the 127, 26, 27 mark, uh, we see the Targaryen emblem and fire bursting out from behind it, engulfing it. And then the title, House of the Dragon, premiering August 21st, 2022. Guys, I cannot wait for this. This is going to be so wonderful, so great. It is the most anticipated show for 2022. Um, there will be 10 episodes, so it'll it'll run into September for sure. Um, they usually skip like Labor Day, like Labor Day weekend, just because people are going to be, you know, busy with everything. But I'm pretty sure it's going to run until the end of September because they are going to be doing 10 episodes. And this first season is going to be absolutely amazing. I cannot wait. All right, guys. Uh, if you've seen the if you've seen the teaser, if you've seen it and watched it multiple times, you know, let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a little dragon emoji. Leave a little green heart, a little black heart, because it is basically the blacks versus the greens. Let me know who you're supporting. If you don't know the story, tell me who you're supporting. If you do know the story and how the story ends, you know, they may change things up a little bit. You never know. Uh, but let me know who you're rooting for and who you want to see sit on the Iron Throne if you don't know how the story ends. If you do know how the story ends and you know who ends up sitting on the Iron Throne, they may not get to it in this first season. They could just be building to things. Uh, guys, this came out on the 5th of May and it already has almost 5 million views. Like, that is how popular this show is like this is the first real teaser extended teaser that we've gotten and it's just blowing up on youtube i've seen different youtube channels that i've uh that i follow break it down um i've sent it to my friends on instagram i posted it on my story i'm just super excited about this whole thing and i cannot cannot wait all right, guys, that'll do it for this video. There will be more House of the Dragon stuff coming. I'm going to put in the description below a link to my Vlogmas from last year because I did talk about House of the Dragon and everything leading up to it and some of the characters that we're going to see and the dragons that we're going to see. So I'll leave a link to the, that below. I am going to have a playlist for all the House of the Dragon stuff. So... Everything will be in the playlist, all breakdowns, all videos, all viewing stuff. We're going to break everything down, talk about everything. I cannot wait. This is quick. This is the great, like one of the greatest birthday weekends, I think, for like so far this year. You know, 2021, 2022 has been kind of rough. This, this show is going to make it so much better. All right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. You know, tell me who you're supporting, the Blacks or the Greens, Rhaenyra or Aegon. And uh, leave a comment down below. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Fire will rain and dragons will roar. Peace out, guys.